Okay, so I picked a game here to watch again um, where I lost specifically. Spoiler alert, anyways, you can see that down here anyways. Um, I, I wanted to pick a game specifically that I lost because I feel like I have been... I'm, I've been picking at random and I think I've been unconsciously feeding my ego. So I wanted to correct that. Um, I am Fiddlesticks in this game. Um, it seems like we have a Caitlyn top lane. And uh, Trisana, but I remember parts of this game. I don't 100% remember what happens though. Um, I, d I do feel like we did pretty well. Um, but then we just kind of gave it away, but I might be, I might be misremembering. I'm not really sure why Kane is there. Um, I don't really know. The jungle too much. Um, I don't know why Shivana is here. If we all walked in here, Shivana would totally be dead. Um, but. Uh, whatever. Oh, okay, okay, so Kane goes in. Sees Cho'Goth there. Kaelin now knows that Cho'Goth is here. <laughs> yeah! Nice. Okay, so he can't really be in the lane. That's pretty good. I don't think you should chase any more than that, though, to be honest. You kind of gave it away there, because now he can... He has more time to recall before you get to the minions. So Shiv stole the blue and is going to come up here. Oh, okay. I thought Shiv was going to attack Caitlyn. That would have been a good move, I think. Um, Kane's like, see you later. And, uh, and that's how that goes. But, um, okay, so bottom lane. Let's see what's going on. So Tristana's, oh, okay. I was like, what in the... The way is crashing, so... If I remember correctly, Tristana gets, like, none of these. <laughs> what is... <laughs> Tristana doesn't know how to farm under the turret, which does happen sometimes, like... For, for me, anyways. <laughs> the people that I play with, it's like... Because I used to play bottom lane a lot, and then I switched to support. Um, and I still, you know, I'll still play bottom lane, like, you know... Um, but I'm certainly much better at support now. But it's just funny to see, like, the bottom laners who can't... Uh, <laughs> they just they can't even farm. I'm like, why are you playing it competitively? Just go practice. Like, you just you just practice, and then, you know, you just... You, that has to be something that's automatic to even be... Like, to even compete. You'll be thinking about uh, the minions too much to be able to do anything else. And, uh, yeah, it seems like that's the situation here. Like, this this is a perfectly normal situation. Like, you get pushed in. They have, a, like, a hard pushing lane with Senna and Ash. So it is... There's no way we can push as fast as they can. Um, it's just not going to happen. But this was pretty nice because they got a little overconfident with how well they were doing. And they uh, kind of forgot about Kane, which is pretty cool um shit has no health what is going on um so yeah that's a you know and i've uh had a lot of lanes where i go up like you know a bunch of cs like 50 cs and we still lose the lane technically because you know we're just not playing well um so farming is one thing playing well is another um this trisana just needs a little practice farming that's all um, okay, so Shivana stayed with no health. I don't, I'm not 100% sure why Shivana is, like, being so aggressive here. Uh, maybe she's just trying to bluff Kane or something. I don't know. But no one's mid lane, so there's really nothing for Shivana to do. Uh, we went back as well. So this is a bit strange um, for me, but... Uh, you know, whatever. Junglers, you do you do what you do, and I do what I do, and 
see if we can make it work together. Um, so Kane is farming as he should be. Should be trying to get level six as quickly as possible. Um, Caitlyn is doing pretty well against Cho. Um, I think without... Uh, ooh, I spoke too soon. I was going to say, I think without a jungler, it's going to be hard for Cho, but if he lands his Q, yeah, I guess Caitlyn can't really be there. It's pretty nice. All of a sudden, Caitlyn's not that far ahead. If at all. See, Yasuo and Galia, they seem to be going pretty even. Um, Caitlyn has to use her teleport, which is pretty good. And Caitlyn has Predator. So Caitlyn's definitely building some sort of troll sort of, of a thing. Um, I tried to start that fight, and I failed. I miscalculated how close Kane was. Let me, let me see what my mistake was here. So... Okay, I see Kane is here. Okay, so Kane is walking away. That's why this didn't work. Yeah, Kane Kane started to walk away. I thought Kane was actually going to cuz this is a perfect time. This is a really like look. There's no minions, right? If Shivana comes, whatever, we deal with it. But look, you just you just come through here. You know, that's what I thought he was doing. I thought he was waiting in this bush for me to come in, because that's actually a good play. Um, but then he turns around. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, wait. Oh, I guess we could, I guess we could, like, play the game here. <laughs> Fucking game. All right, and so, um, so yeah, that's why that, that didn't work. Okay, I was wondering about that. I was like, what? What happened there? Um, Caitlyn gets ganked, but not really. Um, Yasuo waits for Shivana. I don't know if this is a great idea. Galio's gonna come. Ooh, the ignite, though. The ignite. Yasuo, run away, Yasuo. Why are you running that way? Ooh, it stops Galio. That's nice. Okay, Yasuo gets away. And Kane's here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was pretty nice. That was a good play. Catching him off guard. Um, let's see. I don't know why Yasuo's so far up here. Just wanted to stop his recall, I guess. Um, let's see. Not a whole lot going on. They're still outrageously ahead of us in the lane. I think Shiv, I think Shivana could do that. Dragon. I think we see her now, though. Yeah, we see her. They see us. Ooh, we see each other. Okay, Tristan is really low. We can't really go up there and help that much. Although I guess, I guess now that I'm looking at it, I definitely could have. But I was more concerned with keeping Tristana alive because Tristana built this first. Which is not a, like a bad item, but it's not a good item to build first, I would not say. You get 80 bonus magic damage sometimes. Mm, nope, I don't think that's that great. But, um,. We could have we could have helped Yasuo here, which I think is I can see this going wrong. Um, yep, and it goes wrong. And Tristana jumps in. Okay, that's good. That was really lucky though, to be honest, because Tristana had no health, and we didn't have Smite. 
Uh, I don't think Siobhan had some ideas either, though. So all in all, mistakes made on both sides. Uh, that just happened to work out for us. I don't really think that we played better than them or whatever. But uh, that's what ended up happening. Whoa, Tristana almost, almost ate it. Uh, let's see, so we got Kaelin still top lane. Going even with Cho, pretty much. Um, Yasuo is, he's ahead. Ooh, will he get away, though? Does he get away? Yep, he gets away. Oh, but then he goes back in. Oh, yeah, why wouldn't you go back in? Sure. Um, Shivana looking to do some counter jungling because she sees Kane in mid lane. Smart idea. Um, this is going to be a good gank. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Look how far behind Caitlyn Shivana is. Caitlyn's screwed. If Caitlyn didn't have flash there, game over. That was a really good gank. Um, so Tristana is by herself. No, I'm here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was, I was looking at this situation all wrong. Okay, so, um, ah, I see what I did. Okay, I, uh, I disappeared. So yeah, they definitely have no idea that I'm here at all. And ooh, that's so bad. They can't see me. Look at that. They can't see me at all. They're like, oh, he must be over here. Or he must have gone back. And Trisana's playing pretty badly as well. This is what I was waiting for. Something to connect with Tristana to make them commit. <laughs> that's got to be so frustrating to play against. Oh my god. But yeah, I'm just immediately going on Ash because, I mean, who else am I going to go on? And uh, then I can start, you know, focusing Senna. It's unfortunate that uh, we couldn't finish them off a little bit faster because um, that would have been nice. But that's why this is such a bad buy. Like, I can maybe understand an argument for a cloak. But even that is really bad. Like, 25% of the time you're doing double damage. So, uh, I don't think that that's better than just increasing your damage by 25%. Which is, a, a BF sword would increase your damage by, like, 40% or something. Like, these, the crit is specifically designed to be built late game on most champions who deal damage because of the percentage base increase, right? Your your uh, standard attack damage on a champion is going to be around 100 or less. So you might as well increase the base stats before you start thinking about uh, you know crit. And that's why uh, Tristana died there uh, when probably she didn't need to. If Tristana had more damage, uh, Tristana lives there 100%. But Trisana has no damage, plus she's not farming, so she can't buy uh, as much as Ash could have. So even though that was a really good play, and we caught them off guard and everything, um, the fact that we, we were coming from a deficit made it uh, not as good for us. Um, oh, Cho'Goth just gets eliminated. Uh, this is a little bit interesting. I don't know if Kane gets vision of that bush or not. Seems like even if he did, he didn't care. Uh, what's going to happen? Level 6 versus level 9. Can Shivana? It seems like Caitlyn wasn't really watching her screen or something. Oh. Oh, no, Caitlyn. No, Caitlyn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Caitlyn. It's just not going to happen for you. Caitlin, Caitlin, I'm sorry. Caitlin, I'm apologizing. You you don't get out of this situation. Ooh. 
Caitlyn could have conceivably killed Shivana there if she was paying attention, but she wasn't, so. Um, wow, and they just, like, kind of pushed them out of mid lane, huh? That's pretty good. Um, they're kind of forcing us back to the turret bottom lane as well. Does Cho'Gath have his... No, he doesn't have his ult. Cho'Gath could one-shot Yasuo with his ult if he had it. But Yasuo goes in, makes a bad play. Not surprising at all. And let's see. Mm, this is interesting. Kaylin can kill Galio. Yeah. So I alt in for some reason. Don't get me. Okay. Um, I want to see what happened here. Something happened. Okay, so they're both there. We're both here. Ah, okay. Just a standard gank. So Kane comes in. Why did... Why did Tristana jump into... Senna. I don't understand that. <laughs> Tristana's gonna die. I'm gonna try to save her, but she can get auto attacked. Like, what is gonna stop her from getting auto attacked? Why did Tristana do that? That was such a bad play. Anyways. Still all right for us. Um, this is bad. That's unfortunate. So they're going to try to do the dragon. Yasuo is going to go in. One verse three, four. One verse four. Tristana jumps in, which is nice. This is nice. This is not bad. I am far away, though, because I just died. So... I can't really help them right now. Shivana's actually, that's, you know, it's pretty good. Keep yourself alive with the smite. Um, so I get the dragon, now they're pretty screwed. I don't think I have my ult, do I? No, I don't have my ult already. I'm not there anyways. I can't get there fast enough. Ah, that was not a, not a great play. Probably better to just give it to them, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Mid lane is almost gone. Kane is going to try to gank here, but he's going to get... Uh... Whoa, Kane's pretty smart. Oh, Kane's pretty smart, I gotta say. Try to gain Galio here. I don't really know why Yas will flash there. <laughs> that was that was just a bad play, like Yeah, it was just a bad play. So they got mid, finally. Uh, let's see. Something's gonna happen. Ooh. Oh, the minions took the aggro of the turret. That would've made that easier. <laughs> you can't hit me with that. I'm fairly sure Kane can catch up to Ash here. Yep. And we see Shivana, so that's not a big deal. Um, I feel like ganks against Galio are like, you're asking for trouble. Galio is super hard to deal with. He's got a taunt and like a knockup thing. Plus his ult is really strong. I don't know, I just don't feel like... 
because if their jungler shows up, you like have a very high chance of losing unless you outplay them. Oh, I didn't, I didn't notice this before. So Cho'Goth teleports here. We go in. Oh, this is bad. They're all going to be here. So this is just a case of their team working better together. They beat us anyways without all those people rotating, but Galio coming in is really what screwed us over. And then I am like, why is Cho'Goth here? Um, I was like, where did Cho'Goth come from? And so now they're all bottom. Yeah, and Yasuo dies, Kane dies. They definitely didn't need to die, but... Uh, even without that, that was pretty bad for us, to be honest. Uh, Caitlyn, I don't really recall ever being in any fight ever. Caitlyn really needs to be in fights because uh, we just need we need we need something, you know. Ooh, Tristan is dead. Dead as a doornail. Oh, but I save her. I saved Tristana. Uh, meanwhile, Siobhan is doing the dragon by herself. Um, I'm not 100% sure why Kane is not going directly to the dragon. Because um, he definitely had an opportunity to be there in time, and he missed it. We might get Shivana here, which is nice. Oh, but Shivana gets Kane. <laughs> Kane underestimating the strength of the dragon. What what happens here? Does something happen here? I'm like really ready to use my ult, I feel like. Oh, this is perfect. This is a great time to ult. Yeah. This is like I don't know why they're they're leaving. They're leaving. The situation, they're running away. These are the people that I play this game with. Why would you run away from this situation? Even if I didn't have my ult. We're three people against two. What are they going to do? And I can fear one and silence both? I don't... I just don't... I don't understand people. So now we should not chase them. This is a mistake. This is... This is why... This Yasuo probably loses a lot of games. Because... Okay, f first of all, we know that Ash is here because we have this ward. So before he ults, he knows that Ash is there. Secondly, um, we don't know where anybody else is. And anyways, even if we did, I don't think this is a good fight. Yasuo is half health. Ash is in a position where I can't get to her. Tristana can't get to her. Galio is honestly pretty tanky. He's got some health. He's got damage, and he's got armor, which Tristana, you know, built a rapid-fire cannon first. So Tristana, okay, Tristana is, like, not a player in this game. <laughs> like, Tristana's not really doing anything. Um, so in a situation where, like, we're very far ahead or something, or Tristana has some items, I can see this, I can see where Yasuo would be thinking this would be a good play. However, none of those things are the case, so this is a bad play. Um, and he instantly recognizes that and he backs off, but then I am screwed. Um, yeah, I'm totally dead. And, uh, yeah, it's just like a thing of like, think about what you're doing before you do it. Um, oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that happen before. That was pretty good. Tristana walks into melee range of Cho'Goth. And yes, I was going to die. So that was a like a really great play that we had. And we got a kill for free. I'm, I believe we forced Galio to flash. I believe. Um, and it's like, that would be great. And that's a great play. And then we can go do something else. But because Yasuo decided to force uh, an engagement and go on to Galio, which he wasn't going to kill anyways. 
Yasuo can't fight Galio 1 versus 1. And Tristana is certainly not going to help. And I can only help so much as Fiddlesticks, you know, and I just use my ult. What do you expect from me? Um, you know, so I just feel like eh, we, oh, that was just bad play. Just, they didn't even play well. We just we just played badly. Um, let's see. There's like a sort of a push mid lane, but not really going on. So yeah, this is, I feel like just watching this, I feel like our team has no idea what to do. That's what I feel like right now is like our team is just super lost. They have no idea what to do with their champions. They don't know how to play the map. They don't know how to play from behind. Just pick one or all of them and that is what's happening. And I feel like what I'm trying to do is try to set up some kind of play where I ult in and they're not expecting it, but it's going to be difficult. They have a lot of opportunities to get vision. I'm not sure how this happened. Let me go back. So Kane's just in the jungle. They're all in mid lane. And Cho'Goth is top, which I don't know if... I don't think we know that Cho'Goth is top. But we can see all of them here. Um, so we know where everybody is. It's not a case of like getting caught out because we don't have vision. Uh, but let's see what Kane is doing. Kane just, just decides to run over here while everybody's in mid lane. And uh, let's, see what, let's see what Kane decides to do. He decides to hit this ward... Okay, that was nice. Take a take a shot on the ward. Cool. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go in now and start this fight. Even though, okay. So this is. I'm not sure if he's really calculating this, but Senna's not here, which is nice. So it's two versus three. But still, two versus three is not good because three is more than two, you know. And Galio is very strong. So this, I feel like, is just destined to fail. Um, Shivana ult to get more health, to keep Kane from finishing her off. Caitlyn, I would argue, is a little bit too close to this. She, Caitlyn should probably just run away, um, which she doesn't. And Kane dies. Caitlyn's going to die. Um, and then we're just kind of stuck. And this, they are... This, this, I want to highlight this because they made really bad choices there, right? They had all the information that everybody else had, but they chose to go over here by themselves, right? Nobody was with them. There's, and there's no reason, right? There's no dragon up. There's no reason to contest vision in this bush. We know that the ward is there. So when we want to go get that ward, we can go get the ward. It's not a big deal. Like, you know, it doesn't it doesn't give the other team anything to have this ward, right? It just it, it, there's not there's no reason. You we are defending the mid lane turret from their push, right? That's what we're doing. Um, if Caitlyn was paying attention, right? Caitlyn probably honestly uh, should be going top, right? And we should be defending mid. To be honest, like there's because there's no there's no there's no reason for this. And so, yes, it's four versus four. Um, actually, I think it would have been technically a four versus five. But because of the way that they chose to play, this is the choices that they made. Kane went in by himself, pretty much. Then Caitlyn came randomly to help him. And then we reacted when they that started, because why would you do that, right? There's no way we're going to anticipate that happening, because that's just stupid. Um... And then this Caitlyn is wondering, I'm just guessing by the pings that she's giving, this Caitlyn is wondering what we're doing. Well, we're not getting caught out. That's what we're doing. What do you mean? So uh, it's just a thing of like, pay attention. You know, just pay attention to what you're doing. Pay attention to where people are and you know, but I don't. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. Pay attention. 
Um, so now we lose mid for sure. I don't. I don't think we can save this, can we? No, we can't save that. So, I mean, it's just a thing of like you know you got to understand what's going on. That's all. Um, so, so we're gonna go on Chogath. I don't think that we can get him, to be honest. Although Kane is gonna try, ugh, it's Kane. Um, oh, you're dead. But this is the thing: is like you know, uh, kill it. At this point, I'm like, okay. Uh, if we can win, it's like extraordinarily lucky, right? But it happens, so you know, we might as well keep playing. Maybe you learn something. Who knows? Um, see, I tried to get up here. I tried. But Senna dodged me. I'm actually kind of curious how Senna did that. Let me, let me see here. I'm interested in this part here. Ooh, I didn't see this arrow. Ooh, that was a really nice ash arrow. Man, that's done Tristana for so long. Okay, I want to see how this happens. Oh, Tristana's ult. Tristana's ult saves Senna over the wall. That's uh, that's rough. Um, but anyways, that was really bad for us. Three for one. And... Uh, Kane is, is trying to make some things happen, which I appreciate. I don't think he's going to be able to get Ash, though. Um, Tristana's certainly not going to do anything. I mean, what is Tristana going to do? Like, look at Tristana's items. <laughs> like, what, who builds that? Nobody, nobody that knows how to play the game builds those items. Um, and, you know, and then everybody just tries to go in, you know, they all die, and nobody knows what they're doing. Um, so, wow, there are a lot of things about this game. Um, that didn't need to happen. Um, I feel like I did an, an okay job of, like, you know, trying to make plays happen. I had the, the one down here, and then I had one here. Um, I might have had more. I don't really remember any. Those are the ones that stand out to me as being the most impactful, though. Um, but at a certain point, there's, like, only so much you can do as one person. And if your whole team is, like, bent on playing badly, either because they don't know how to play well or because they're just not playing well, um, you know, there's not really a whole lot that I... I don't think I could have done. Maybe I could have. Um, hmm. I feel like this Twin Shadows was a pretty good choice considering I like to build this when my team is behind because it helps alleviate the fact that I can't face check as Fiddlesticks. So I can still know if someone's on one side of the jungle or the other. By pressing that, um, which I think helps the whole team, really. I guess one of the things I could have done was build more damage and try to have more of an impact that way, but I, I feel like even then, I don't know. I feel like it's just, I don't know. I feel like they just didn't want to play well or they didn't know how or, you know, my team uh, rather. So, like, I, I, I just feel like... I don't know, like, they didn't know what they were doing, and, you know, Tristana, I mean, the items, like, and the choices that Tristana would make, like, when she jumped in here, to, like, right next to, I think it was Senna, and then that let her, with, like, no health, by the way, she had no health, and then she got stunned by Ash and then killed, and it I don't know, like, th there was just a lot of things happening in this game where I feel like in a competitive in a like a truly competitive game they wouldn't happen 
um this but i mean obviously this is not like a really competitive game um but yeah i mean they i think they they outplayed us overall and i think we also made mistakes that they capitalized on um i like we made so many mistakes like i would have to watch this three or four times to notice all of the mistakes we made like i might have to watch it like five times and watch each person individually to see all the mistakes there were that many um and they they made mistakes too but they made significantly less and they knew how to um take advantage of you know the lead that they got and um i don't think baron was ever taken once was it i don't, I don't think it was um let me see here that's dragon yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't I don't think they ever took Baron. So I don't think they really needed to take Baron. I don't honestly think they really needed the dragons. I mean the dragons are obviously helpful, but um they beat us by way more than eight percent damage, I can tell you that. Um You know, and it's just like uh I think really the only thing that I see as like a major improvement from my team was like learning the champions and kind of learning what they do and how much damage they can do and um i think there were other basic fundamental things that uh my team could have done better but i think that's probably the one that would probably be the most beneficial um uh i thought that i did okay with that um I don't want to make it seem like I played way better than them or anything, but I, I think I did play a little bit better this game than most of my teammates. And uh, some games certainly that's not the case, because um, I have I have played with some, you know, reasonably skilled players, um, you know, like sort of master and above above and stuff. Um, and I, I just, I can't keep up with them. Like, I'm not that good. Like, I don't understand the game well enough. I don't, you know, mechanically, I'm not as good. Like, strategically, I'm not as good. Just pick a category and I'm not as good. And that's the reason why they play in the games that they play in. Um, so I'm not trying to say that I'm, like, way, way better or anything. I just think in, in this particular game, I uh, my, my plays and way of thinking was a little bit... Uh, more pointed towards what would actually get us to win. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to sit in chat and, you know, uh, try to get people to play a certain way or whatever. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to do that. Um, for me, it is just, it's just a game and, um, you know, I'm trying to have fun. I, I am trying to win and I'm trying to be competitive. I think to me being competitive is more fun than winning. Um, because win or lose, like, um, I think I think it's more about you know like playing and um, kind of uh, testing yourself and uh, you know challenging yourself and seeing how well you can do and um, to me that's what I like about it. So um, I'm not I'm not trying to like ruin anybody's fun, but. Um, yeah, I think I think uh, our our team just played way worse, and uh, so we lost. But yeah, I'm glad I did that one that uh, I lost for sure. I'll probably try to be more conscious of um, the games that I'm choosing to watch replays of. But uh, yeah, hopefully this was uh, enjoyable, and um, you know maybe you learned something. I don't know. I know I did. <laughs>